Hey everybody, Cynical Manor here. Today we're in the uh, Mirage 2000C and uh, we'll be explaining how to use the RWR system, the, uh, the jammer system, and also countermeasures. Um, so if we look down here in the bottom right, this is where we turn everything on as far as countermeasures, RWR, ECM, and all that good stuff. Alright, so starting from left to right, this is your basically your countermeasure panel and, and all your different ECM, RWRs. So to turn on the, uh, the jammer, uh, you've got it in standby. You can put it at square is where I like to keep it. Or you can put it PCM. PCM is constant jamming. You really don't want to know or don't want to keep it constantly jamming um, because you make yourself a target. So if you put it in the, in the square, it only comes on when it's active and needs it. ECM, that's your jammer. So that's off, on, and test. We're not going to test it, we're just going to put it on. RWR, we're going to turn that to on. And you hear we have a beep there that's a contact MWS is your missile warning system we want to turn that on and then your jammer here that's your countermeasures uh, where you can either do semi-auto or auto and I like to use semi-auto and these are your programs A means off or no no program selected basically before we set a program let's take a look here we're gonna hit shift K and bring up our kneeboard here's all your programs so that's your panic. You get six chaff, three flares. Program one is going to be six chaff, no flares. Program two, six chaff, no flares. Program three, six chaff, zero flares, and so on and so on. I like to use program five because it's one and one. That way I'm not wasting stuff. Um, and I can pop a flare, pop a chaff at the same time keep about my business keep notching trying to avoid that missile without burning up all my uh, countermeasures okay so you could pull up your knee board and look at that anytime and figure out which one works best for you uh, I don't think program 9 is probably the one to go with 20 chaff and six flares that's a little wasteful to me but if that's what you like that's what you like okay so we're gonna go over and we're gonna select program 5 and let's take a look at some controls. So we'll go to the controls here. And you're going to hit decoy program release. I've got that bound to my throttle. Uh, I try to set up all my uh, chaff and flare releases in the same way in every aircraft I fly. That way it's always familiar. I try to set up flaps, gear, all that stuff in the same. That way I don't have to go, hmm, where did I put that again? Okay, and then the other one that you'll need is the panic release now remember we looked at that and I believe it was six chaff or six chaff three flares is what it dumps so that's just in an emergency situation you got a missile real close and you just need to unload um, so that's what we would do with that okay all right so now that we've got everything powered up and on let's go over some symbologies so this is your RWR you're looking down at a top-down display. This is our aircraft in the middle. That's our nose or in our tail. Okay, so everything on the outside has an active radar. And it's just searching, it's just scanning. No threat. If it comes into the middle here, we got a problem because that means it's tracking us. So before we really go into this big time, let's take a look at this. Okay, so S, that's your, that's your, uh, power to your ECM. So that's saying it's powered on. ECM, the red light, is meaning that it's active. But we've got ours in the square. Let's go by standby. Standby it's not on, but we can activate it. So it's however you want to do it. You can keep it in the square. And we can still activate it. So I kind of keep it in the, in the middle 
as a it'll automatically do it for us if we need it if we forget um, but in in the standby mode it will not do that for us okay so moving on RWR that just means we have power to this unit MWS means we have power to the missile warning system and the J is for jammer uh, just showing that we have power going to our countermeasures here okay so we've got a couple things showing up on scope already we've got a S and a 6 so we pull up our knee board again and we'll go over turn menaces VCM okay so if we look at S S is uh, J11A, SU-27, or SU-33. I created the mission, so I know it's SU-27. We've got an M out there as well. What is M? Mm, M is a big, 29. Okay? And we also have a 6, which is a SA-6. Okay? So if you ever want to know what something is, this doesn't show up like some radars. Like if you're in the F-16, it's going to show up 16, 14, 18, you know, uh, 27, 29, things like that to actually identify the aircraft. This one kind of gives you symbols and characters. We do have a naval unit out there, and you'll see that pop up later. That's going to be in for a neighbor. Navier, maybe? I don't know. Uh, this cockpit is in the English version because I don't parlay vu français. Uh, if you speak French, then more power to you. You can keep it French. Um, but we're going to come out of active pause here, and we've got it set on our uh, autopilot, and I'm just going to fly and see what we pick up, set our throttles up here a little bit. Go ahead and give her some afterburner, get on closer to stuff. So when you hear the beep, that means it's new targets popped up, so or new radar contacts. So we heard two beeps, so we've got the N, which is the naval, uh, and we've got the S, which is um, the SU-27. All right, so we've got a Chevron that come up under the 6, so that means the 6 is uh, actively searching now, SAM site. But he's not within our inner circle, so he's not a main danger yet. But he is something to watch because he's now actively searching. So we're just going to keep fly flying and uh, see what happens here. Alright, so he's flashing. showed that the missile was bearing down on us there and we had to get out of there so we did notch that uh, the best way to notch a uh, SAM site is to put it to your left or to your right and get away from it as fast as you can and drop down to the, to the deck so hopefully that was uh, helpful for you on uh, 
teaching you how to use the RWR and the jammer system. Now, if we had have had um, the jammer in standby, we could have still hit uh, Q, is what I've got it bound to. It's going to be your jammer PCM override toggle. And I've just set it to Q on the, on the um, commands on my keyboard. But we could have hit Q and see now we're jamming. PCM means we're jamming. But if you noticed, when we were in the square, we had PCM flash in there. That means it's jamming for us. Uh, we could have jammed it anyway uh, by hitting Q, or we could have just let it do its thing. And we let it do its thing. Um, but hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, teach you a little bit about countermeasures and how to use uh, the RWR and jammer system. Until next time, we'll see you later, and you have a good one. Remember to like and subscribe.